Yes, go ahead. I'm listening. Go ahead. No, you're busy. Are they? Do they make you GoPro? No. What do you mean, make? Uh, you? Uh, your head, like cause you're doing that for. Yeah, I'm just doing it for my YouTube channel. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, hey, now I'm on your YouTube channel. Yeah. Yeah. You on YouTube too? No, man. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, you too, man. Out of here now. Boost this up in the air. Boost it up. Are any of these brand new? All these? No. But all these belong to you. Every last one. Every, brand new? No, everything must go sell though. You understand? Sell them all, man. <laughs> That's right. Everything, I, I took pictures of everything. I know you looking like everything's been photographed before I put on the truck. Everything's good. I understand. Uh -huh. oh, come on, everybody come with me. Look at them boys come out. Look. They ain't raise them up. What's up now? This is me, 18 Wheels. I'm back with another video. Um, this video right here is uh, actually, I'm just taking these, I'm taking, um, I'm breaking down my whole, my whole uh, trailer, truck and trailer. Uh, this del this delivery right here belongs to this uh this dealership right here well anyway um the pickup trucks that i had on this truck uh it's like two different ways that you can load i it's it's other ways but i chose to do it this way because uh two factors my weight and the height and then plus i had three well i had three cars on my truck so I tried to load it one way and when I went to weigh my truck I was uh almost fifteen hundred pounds over on my uh my drives. So I had to take one of the pickup trucks and slide it all the way back. But I got my weight correct and I was uh working with a height factor. So I had to actually, you know, load them a certain way so I wouldn't be over height. Now, if I would have loaded them the way I normally load cars, I probably would have been close to 15 feet high, you know. And I can't, I can't uh, run that high. You, you only allowed to. Uh, I mean, the law is like 14 feet in certain areas. Now, certain areas you got to be up under 
uh, 14 feet. You need to be close to 13, 6 as possible. Like uh, traveling on the eastern part of the United States, you want to try to be up on the 13, 6. If you can get it low like that, but if not, uh, you're going to have to take special routes to get your uh, your uh, your uh, truck to its destination. So anyway, I got here at this destination right here to unload my trucks. And I had like one of the cars ran out of gas. And I had to do that. And then one of the other cars, uh, I had to uh, uh, jump start the car. And I was that was crazy. So once I got there, you know, uh, salesmen, a lot of them, they all came outside. I guess they were like waiting for these vehicles. And then also too, you know, I noticed whenever I'm delivering cars to anybody, they they're looking at the cars, but they looking for damages, you know, things. That's why it's very important, you know, you knew the car hauling. It's very important to take pictures of the cars man take pictures put inspection notes everything that you see on the car when you get it make sure you mark it down even as if it's something that you don't even know what it is you still mark it if it's not supposed to be there you mark it you know because you never know you know what you what you're gonna get when you get to the other end because you got some people they are they go through the cars and if you miss one little thing they can blame it on you you know and but that's how it is but uh, this video is like almost 28 minutes long I tried to shorten it up much as possible but it was just so much stuff that I had to do to get these cars off you know by, by me um, hauling pickup trucks you know so I, I kind of like took my time getting these cars off because you know I don't want to I want to damage nothing and then plus it's a safety factor I gotta think before I move, I mean, you, you, you want to get into car hauling, and uh, you don't really have any experience doing this, and you, you actually need somebody to train you to do it. But at the same time, while while you got somebody training, always try to think about what you're doing before you do it, because you can, you can damage something, or you can severely injure yourself. You know, it's things that you got to do that's why when i unload my cars and load my cars i always me personally i lock all my pins now i see other car haulers some of them don't do it but i'm not taking that chance you know me because you can't sometime you be in you be in a car you got to you can't just get out the car that fast. It doesn't work that way. How you, doing? you know, you got to kind of like squeeze your way out the door just to get out the car. So, I mean, you, you just got to do everything the right way. Uh, try to like utilize whatever, you know, your trailer, what type of trailer you pulling. This trailer right here that I'm pulling is called a quick loader. They call it a quick loader. Uh, I don't know why they call it a quick loader because it seemed like is nothing quick about it to me but maybe maybe it, it should have been called the easy loader <laughs> you know i don't know well anyway so uh check out the rest of this video i'm gonna stop talking and um that's about it i hope you get something out of it if not there are other youtubers people that shoot youtube videos that maybe you can get a few pointers out of uh you know, hauling cars. Uh, that's about it. And uh, also, uh, to everybody out there that's driving trucks, y'all be safe and uh, enjoy the rest of the video and try to get something out of it. All right. Peace. That's all I got to say. Those cars are yours. Huh? Every last one of those cars belong to you. I'm giving it to you. Yeah, thank you. I gotta take all the other cars off though yeah, first. Yeah, I'm gonna give it to you. I take a lot, that way you don't come back and say I did it. Right. I'm serious, man. Yeah. Okay, here you go. 
You can ride off with this one. I'm gonna grab the next one. Where's my... I'm gonna lift it back up.
and the mirror crack. Oh, yeah, you, you got to fix some stuff on this. You got to, I think the bumper was messed up on this. Yeah, that ain't shit. Y'all can fix that. The flippers.
man, this bitch. Don't tell me this bitch done ran out of gas. You know what? Before you do that, I'm gonna get on that end. Be, be careful. Wait a minute. Oh, shit. Oh. What in the fuck? I gotta grab my damn ladder to do this shit. Cause you gotta pull this out. Yeah. So how long did it take for you to get this car from there? There we go, baby. We have lift off. Y'all go ahead. I don't, I don't care. Y'all just gonna be in my pictures. Happy. Be happy. I get it. It's right there. It's 8,000 miles on it. 8,000. Let me shut it, just so I can get the side view. Yeah. 